Hello Y2L members, today I am here with the topic Tinkering in Education. Be the change you want to see, said Mahatma Gandhi. And when we are talking about change, we cannot just ignore innovation. But what is tinkering? Uh, today's scenario of education is such that we have a lot of thinkers, but the time is we need tinkers. So tinkering works with four C's, which are critical thinking, collaboration, creativity and communication. Now, um, what is it? Like what is the first step? So I'm going to share how you can integrate tinkering in education and bring some positive and sustainable changes. So the first idea is to have tinkering labs. So if you are in India, then ATL labs are there which stand for Atal Tinkering Lab funded by the government. But otherwise, if you are in any region or you do not have the government funded ATL lab, then you can simply go in for tinkering lab. You should know the major things in a tinkering lab. Now a tinkering lab comprises of um, uh, 3D printer, robotics, do it yourself kits that is DIY kits, maybe Legos for something and uh, some smoldering machines, some drilling machines and other kits, batteries that, that are required. So these are the key elements, uh, IOTs, Internet of Things. So children work together, they use technology, their mind, they ideate and then they innovate. They find a problem, then work on the solutions. They might not be skilled in that area, but then they work in a manner that whatever is there, they are trying to improve on that uh, solution. So this is more like an innovation. Second, if you cannot uh, afford to have a tinkering lab or if you do not have much space to have a physical tinkering lab in your school for your students, then what you can do? You can go in for STEAM, STEAM projects. Now what is STEAM? In STEAM, S stands for science, T stands for <coughs> technology, E stands for engineering, A stands for arts and M stands for mathematics. This is integrating science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics and then giving integrated projects to children. So this is basically about cultivating innovation inside the class through project based learning, through experiential learning, through experimentation and through integrated projects that student may work in pairs or in groups. So either you can give them a few topics, the problem areas which they would work on or uh, they can work by themselves, finding their own problem and working on its solution. Now the third thing, even steam is too heavy for you, to begin with you can simply start with ELCD. Now what is ELCD? E experiment, L learn, C conceptualize and D develop. So what is it? Now your whatsoever subject teacher you are following this ELCD approach. That is let them experiment <clears throat> from the results let them learn and then conceptualize their solution or workable idea and develop it further. So ELCD approach can be used uh, for the prototyping you can give them uh, Legos or uh, other things it depends whether you are taking maths so what things they need you can provide them or uh, you can just uh, make it free to uh, let them decide how they want to progress how they want to experiment it depends on your class level major ma majorly for example you can take any problem um, increasing uh, pollution very simple problem, very common problem, not simple, it's very complex, but very common problem. So this common problem has already designated solutions, but then let children come up with certain ideas and you never know there could be innovation. For example, paper recycling. We have already heard about paper recycling where the paper is being recycled, but is there any other material available in our surroundings that can be recycled to make paper instead of cutting trees? Now they have to work on it so they can experiment. Now if you are taking primary classes, you can just simplify the level and let them innovate on the solutions 
you can tell them that you do not have to rely on the google answers because that is very simple and anyone could find out they should more rely on their knowledge and use that to devise solutions so all the best so don't just be thinkers be tinkers this is what the tagline i could just think of randomly and all the best tinker well in education may god bless you thank you